top 20 scary ghost videos caught on camera. Cursed Farm This next video comes from the TikTok user Rocky underscore 56 underscore YT. Zoe and her family live by a farm which is believed to be cursed. On some days the animals begin to behave strangely and some pigs even gave birth to offspring which ended up having some unusual features and were even born deceased as if they were used as sacrifices the moment they came into this cursed land. There is also a tale about a being that has made this area its territory for many years. Now, one day Zoe's little sister heard something strange going on outside near the stable and so she took her phone and decided to record and investigate. Hola chicos, estoy grabando este video porque mi papá y mi mamá se fueron a comprar una cosa en el almacén y mi hermano se va se van a estar en la pieza, pero yo sentí lo alojado por acá. No sé qué está pasando, pero quiero tratar de grabar. ¡Ah! Miren eso. The little girl ended up dropping the phone out of pure terror from the sight of this entity she has seen and it was her brother who ended up finding the phone and uploading the video later on. The poor girl has been mentally scarred after what she saw that day. The Hike TikTok user Creed4 was hiking on an unusual path one day when his hiking adventure was suddenly cut short after something creepy interrupted his journey. As one who hikes often, Creed has a good sense of nature and while on his hike, the animals in the woods were very lively. That is, until all of a sudden, the woods went dead silent. Not a single bird chirping could be heard. To make matters worse, he sees a rabbit completely frozen, not moving an inch, letting him get unusually close. So he starts to record. Strangely, the rabbit, which would usually get startled easily and run away if you approached, just stands there stationary. And just moments after, we hear a creepy voice which sounds like that of someone suffocating. And if we listen closely, it sounds like it says, Help me, please. Many viewers believe that the rabbit's response seems very real and that this is a legitimate skinwalker which could explain the silence in the area. Whatever the case, I'm curious to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Before we continue, today's video is sponsored by Aura. Now, you may not be able to protect yourself from the paranormal but you can protect your personal and private information when online by using Aura. Did you know that your personal information is most likely accessible online because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers and anyone else who wants to learn more about your information? Even your internet service provider can always see what you are doing online and will collect data from your browser history regardless if you are in incognito mode or not and will sell it to other companies for marketing purposes. 
And that's where Aura comes in. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. They will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. And with Aura, logging onto a public Wi-Fi couldn't be safer as they have military-grade encryption which will prevent any third party from intercepting your data. So Aura is definitely something you want to use to protect your personal information. Use my link aura.com slash despair in the description or scan the QR code on screen to get started with a two week free trial and you'll soon see how many data brokers have now been prevented from sharing your information. Aura also monitors your emails and passwords to see if they were involved in a data breach and exposed on the dark web and gives you recommendations on what to do. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls and protects your devices from malware. You'll even receive alerts on any suspicious bank transactions. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need, all inside one app. So let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now with my link, Aura will give you a two-week free trial. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. So go to aura.com slash despair using the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen to start your free trial. Ghost in my house. The next sequence of videos comes from the TikTok user Original Fuzzy to Legit. Now the man behind the TikTok account has been experiencing paranormal events inside his home for quite some time. He says he often sees things moving when there is nobody around and occasionally he would see a ghost around the house. He claims that he gets a strange feeling as if he is able to sense its presence and after recording a few times this is what he captured. What in the f What in the fuck? This area is extremely. Who the fuck is back there? There was probably about 30 or 40 dead people that were converging outside. And I was really overwhelmed. You would maybe see apparitions out What are you road, doing, man? But the most likely way you would experience them is emotionally feeling anxious or on edge. Okay, he's gonna hold it? Like, what the f, man? What in the hell is going on? So at any given time, I could be happy, um, carefree, and then the next second, be So I did have a sketch done of that. <laughs> I was walking down the stairs and I was holding on and I felt something sweep my feet and I slid down the entire flight of stairs. Like, I when I felt it, I was like, really it's, it's not funny. I'm supposed to protect and I can't protect because I can't grab his choke his ass out. Well, sometimes I get pissed off and I talk to them and I tell them they're tired of this. Get the out of my house. Leave us alone. You know, you pick them on my... You hear them, are you? <laughs> Three times, so you can get it just right. Come in, do no harm. 
It's my 912 No Days Off Migraine Medicine. It's super healthy for any time, anywhere migraine strikes, without worrying if it's too late or where I am. One dose can quickly stop migraine in its tracks within two hours. <laughs> That's not funny. It's not funny. You're not, no. Get, you need to go. You need to go. You need to go, like right now. Whoa! 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 The fuck is... Oh shit. A curtain moves apart on its own, and viewers pointed out that it looks like someone can be seen sitting down in the chair, but when he gets closer, there's nobody there. Once again later on the curtain moves inwards from both sides, and then just releases as if someone let go, but we don't see anybody move left or right, nor do we see a silhouette of any person behind the curtains, so just what? is moving the curtain and is it real you judge abandoned school the next video comes from the facebook user gabriel martinez and after making his way back home from his girlfriend's house at night he came across an old abandoned school to which he decided to go and explore in the middle of the night by himself he usually explores places from time to time, but has never experienced anything. However, after climbing over the fence and entering the domain of the ghosts, he soon realizes he may have made the wrong choice by coming to this school. Take a look. This is the school that I told you about. I'm going to hear you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Y por allá hay una novia. Pero la novia no me mete. Porque se culo. Y el chile sí tengo un poquito de miedo. Un poquito nomás. Pero esta es la escuela. La escuela de San Benito Juárez. La la la, 1954. Ah, está mal. A ver. Un poco bien. Ahí está esta madre. Aquí hay una. Esta madre no se abre. Uy, uy. Me cae con eso. Es todo lo que. Mira nomás esta. Esta sí está abierta.
Pues ya vieron, güey. Puro pinche pedo, no hay ni madres a la ver. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? ¿Quién le gasta un güey? Puta, puta madre. After entering a small part of the school, he quickly notices he's not alone as he initially thought, and we can soon hear bangs, and an object even moves by itself in this big empty room. What's even worse is that we can see a face lurking behind the wall just watching him. Is this real ghost evidence, or just another ruse? Let me know down below. The Depths The next video comes from the YouTube channel Richelle G. And in this video, she investigates a hole, which is roughly 100 feet deep. She says that a few years back, a little girl fell down this hole and unfortunately met her demise as a result. But when she decides to take a look at the depths of the hole, and she shines her light, she captures something terrifying. There, literally, somebody died in here. There is a body. Well, they're probably not anymore, but... Just bones. A body in the bottom. Look, no, I'm sure can't even probably. See. Can't even see the bottom. Here. Uh, let me turn my light on. You can see. Actually, it shows up pretty good on camera here. There is something at the bottom of that freaking well. As Rochelle shines the light down at the bottom, we can see a pair of glowing eyes as well as a faint shape of a head lurking at the bottom of the hole, and it looks to be non-human. It is a common belief by many people that reptilian aliens and other unknown beings occupy the undergrounds of the earth. Perhaps this is what we are potentially seeing as we stare into the literal depths of despair. Let me know what you think. Haunted Apartment The next sequence of videos comes from the TikTok user BunnySquid95 and the girl behind the account just so happens to be living in a haunted apartment after only just moving in recently. She says that the paranormal is a very frequent occurrence and after recording a few times, this is what she managed to capture. Um, hey guys, it's uh, 12, 12 o'clock in the morning, and I heard some weird noises. Jesus Christ, oh my god. Okay, so I just got up uh, to turn the light on, and um, there's still... Okay, and oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, there's still weird shit <laughs> happening. <laughs> Okay, goodbye. Hi guys, um, I had just gotten up to uh, show everybody that my fan uh, is just a regular oscillating fan. It's not anything that will be able to move a ceramic cup, as you can see now. 
Um, and then I started hearing some noises. So I was going to just record and see what. What happened? Okay, so you can see a lot of the activity is centered most, mostly uh, in my kitchen. Um, it's probably not a coincidence. Uh, I'll show you guys the garage sometime. It's directly below the kitchen, but um, yeah, a lot of weird stuff happens down there too. Okay, um, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, that's just, okay, that's just the outline of the uh, paper towel roller and the water bottle. Hmm. Oh, 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 okay. Are we in the chair then? Is that what I'm supposed to see? Hello? Oh, okay. Hey guys, here's something uh, a little abnormal for you. It's currently 12.35 uh, in the afternoon. Um, it's daylight out. I was hearing noises, so I wanted to turn on the reality ripple effect. Oh, this is going to make me get up, isn't it? Okay. Oh. Okay, um, so, this has never happened before, middle of the day, but okay, I'm just gonna go back to my room now, oh, okay, <laughs> I was just trying to chill, ah, oh, Jesus, for a little while before I went to work. Many different objects can be seen moving on their own, the only question is, is this real paranormal activity, or yet another ruse? Middle of nowhere. Two friends discovered a strange abandoned building that seemed to be located in the middle of nowhere, far away from any roads. So they decided to journey to this place at night, in hopes of exploring it to see what they can find. But I'm afraid a few moments inside quickly sends them running back to their car. Watch closely. Oh, yeah. 
As they explore the dark building and come towards one of the rooms, some pallets are launched onto the floor, all on their own, and a door slams right in front of their faces. It's at this point they decide to leave, and although it was tempting to return, they listened to their gut feeling and just left completely. However, the scariest thing in the building was when one of the guys zoomed into a gap in the wall, and we could see a dark grey skinned little girl with short white hair and strange eyes, quite different to your typical pale light grey figure with long black hair. I wonder what the story behind this place could be, and who or what is this girl? Night Creature In this video a man who lives in a remote area somewhere in Oregon US claims that he has been hearing sounds coming from somewhere around his backyard and he can't seem to identify what these sounds could possibly be coming from. So one night he decided to record as he went to find the source and he captures something completely nightmarish. I'm hearing the things in my woods again. I don't know if you can hear the noise. I'm recording with night vision right now. I've been hearing the uh, sounds in the back of my woods. Quite a bit. As he walks through the bushes in the darkness of the night, he comes face to face with a humanoid creature and instinctively retreats without a second fall. What would you have done had this been you? The Skinwalker the next video comes from the TikTok page MotoWens, which makes videos based on motorcycles, nothing to do with anything creepy or paranormal. However, on one of his adventures, he is dirt biking 15 miles into the woods by himself and ends up having a terrifying experience. <laughs> This is where most people would turn around. If you turn around and you never get to see what's on the other side, that's where all the gold is waiting over there. Could be missing out what's on the other side. Hello? I was out of there. As he travels upwards, he comes across a pile of bones just laying on the ground. He realizes it's a little creepy but doesn't think too much of it and decides to proceed anyway. After being forced to stop to get over a fallen tree, that's when he hears something calling out for help and right when he replies back with hello, we hear sticks snapping as something steadily approaches him.
Hello? Not willing to wait and find out what's out there to greet him, Owen just decides to get back on his bike and get out of there. Hunted in the woods. The next video comes from the TikTok user GL Drone, who uploaded a disturbing video of a group of friends who went camping deep into the woods in an unknown location somewhere in Mexico. After setting up camp and settling down for the night, they begin to hear strange noises and they all get the feeling that something is lingering nearby watching them. The next morning they wake up only to discover that some of their belongings have gone missing along with a trail of footprints. Luckily, one of the members of the group had been using a drone to keep track of the surrounding area. Equipped with thermal vision, the drone was able to locate the thief who had been following them in the depths of the woods at night. The person eventually stopped moving and when the camera switched visions and zoomed in to identify the individual, the campers were left in complete shock to see a deer looking directly at the camera in the exact spot the person was seen just mere seconds ago. Shortly after they hear someone crying out for help coming from their campsite. Once again the thermal vision of the drone pinpoints the heat signature which seems to be the source of the sounds. As they get closer, one of the campers begins cutting at the bushes and seems to go straight over the heat signature, not noticing anything as if nothing is there. After explaining the story to some of the locals, they said that this is how the spirits get people lost in the woods and claim their lives. And others say this is a skinwalker. Either way, I'm curious to hear your thoughts down below. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over to depthsofdespairbusiness at gmail.com. Just moved in. TikTok user Zom Flow just recently purchased and moved into a new house, which seemed like a great decision at first. But not long after moving in, strange things started to happen. He would hear whispering noises and wake up to banging sounds downstairs, and it would always occur in the middle of the night around 3 a.m. On one night he wakes up to more creepy sounds and decides to start recording these events for evidence. This is what he captures. Bon, première vidéo. Putain, mais c'est quoi ce Putain, mais c'est quoi ce truc de fou là Oh, oh, oh c'est bon, je me casse, c'est bon, ok, ok. Ça va, ça va gagner, c'est gagné, c'est bon. Aïe Strange whispers can be heard coming from all over the house, along with a voice that sounds like it's imitating him. He doesn't know where the voice is coming from, but he believes it's haunting his home. And the same chair moved just a few hours ago. The next night he wakes up to more noises coming from downstairs around 3.37 a.m. Once again, he goes down to check it out, and what he captures left him completely terrified. Bon, 
je fais encore cette vidéo pour vous montrer qu'il se passe vraiment des trucs extrêmement bizarres pour le rageux ou tout ça ceux qui honnêtement j'ai je vais pas me casser la tête à faire des pranks ou quoi que ce soit je me tape déjà deux heures de boulot en hôpital je suis un service je avec des personnes âgées pardon excusez moi je me sens pas bien d'un coup Donc, honnêtement j'ai autre chose à foutre que des putains de pranks on vient de cette putain de musique de merde j'ai entendu une musique Putain, viens fille Je suis en train de choquer de sa mère Viens avec moi Eh viens Le chien veut pas venir quoi Eh viens la fille Non, ils sont bêtes Viens Eh viens mon chien Ta chien veut même pas venir quoi, putain Je sais pas, je le sens pas. Je le sens pas. Est-ce qu'il y a quelqu'un ici D'après certaines personnes dans vos messages, ils me disent de parler. C'est la peur qui les nourrisse ou quoi que ce soit. Je vais essayer, mais je vous promets pas. Si on me répond personnellement, je me casse. Il y a quelqu'un ici Oh putain, ça bouge juste à côté de moi Viens, fille, s'il te plaît Viens Viens, viens Putain, le chien est pas mière, quoi. Oh putain, j'ai l'impression d'avoir vu des yeux rouges. Alors, je sais pas pourquoi. Je, je pars en bradi. Grosso modo, ça veut dire que mon cœur s'accélère. Sans aucune raison. J'ai les poils qui, 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 qui se hérissent. Oh, bon. Et ok, c'est bon. Comme d'habitude, pourquoi j'ai pas ce son de merde je sais pas, je sens un truc derrière moi. Ah, c'est couilles là. Ah. Oh, When he tried to communicate with it and ask if anything is here, something breathes right next to him, startling him, and at some point he feels a deep burning sensation on his back as if two claws were on him, and after taking a look at his back, he sees two large scratch marks, which left him terrified of the place. He is now considering selling the property and moving houses. But his situation is complicated at the moment, so he can't just up and move. Eventually, the dog becomes scared to go downstairs too, and starts to act very bizarre. C'était quoi ça, putain C'était quoi cette merde Si Putain hein, si. Qu'est-ce qui t'arrive Non Non Mais non C'est quoi ce délire C'est quoi ce délire, putain de ça C'est quoi ce voix de sa mère, putain At this point, he's been waking up at 3 a.m. every day and hasn't gotten much sleep. The next night, the same thing happens again. Ça fait un moment que j'ai pas fait de vidéo, mais là, ça en pire. De jour en jour, des marques, des griffes, c'est insupportable. Ah, c'est toi qui me fais peur. Alors, il y a quelqu'un Putain, c'est insupportable. Putain Putain c'est quoi cette merde encore Non mais c'est pas possible The moment he steps outside a loud bang is heard and a toy goes off by itself inside the box. So is this a real ghost caught on camera or just a simple ruse? You judge. Uneasy feeling. The next video comes from the TikTok page Peach Assassin 99, who we have featured once before in the past.
Lauren has been dealing with paranormal events in her house for well over a year now. Her front door would ring like crazy when she was home alone, but whenever she opened the door, there was nobody there. And even worse, her pets would react to these events and would get extremely upset if she tried to leave her bed, and it was even worse if she got near the door. On one particular night around 11.44 p.m., she captures something disturbing. Take a look. An object falls off on its own and then the front door starts to ring, but nobody is ever there. We can see that the dog is confused and reacts to whatever is at the door. A little later on around 3am, she's watching TV when something even more terrifying happens. Something unseen pulls Lauren's hair, leaving her terrified. She thought it may have been her cat, but it wasn't around at the time, and looking back at the footage she can see that the dog didn't do anything. Understandably freaked out after this, she decided to contact a few people to come over and help. However, nobody was close enough to come and help her, leaving her to deal with this paranormal torment on her own. In another video, Lauren noticed the dogs acting super alert and protective out of nowhere, and all their attention seemed fixated on the backyard. When Lauren checked the backyard camera, she was shocked at what she saw. A mysterious and creepy looking figure can be seen pacing around the trees within the depths of night in Lauren's backyard, which would explain the uneasy feeling from all the dogs in the house. But what's even worse is that Lauren says she lives on a three acre plot of land in the middle of nowhere, so this most likely wouldn't be just someone messing around. A few months later, while on the phone to her boyfriend outside the front door, something completely horrifying is captured. Hey, when are you coming over? I gotta wait for my work clothes to dry. And I'm coming. Hey, I'm hungry. I understand that. I can't just not leave without my work clothes. Okay, that's fair. Well, do you want me to just make something here? What do you have? I mean, I have like pizzas or maybe chicken nuggets, nothing crazy. Do you have ranch in your house? Dude, my fucking door just closed. Is that the 
Yes. And it's locked. I just got locked out of my house. Yes, nobody's here. Luna! Luna's inside by herself. I don't even see her in there. slams shut seemingly all by itself and even locks Lauren out as she can't open it. She manages to enter through the back door which quickly slams shut by itself shortly afterwards and to make things worse the front doorbell begins to go off and her poor dog Luna was also found scared and locked in one of the rooms. This experience was so traumatic that she had to stay over at her boyfriend's house for a while before being able to return. Now, just a few days ago she is sleeping at night when she is woken up to her dogs jumping over her trying to see outside. She begins to record what seems like something out of a nightmare. After opening the window, Lauren sees nothing outside, but just mere seconds afterwards, a faint voice is heard right next to her, startling her. But what's more terrifying is that just after the voice scares her and she pans the camera towards the window, we can see something there. When just a second ago, there was nothing there, it potentially looks like it could be the skin of someone or something manifesting and gaining entrance through the window. So it seems like opening the window or door to unseen knocking may be a big mistake. Ever since this day, Lauren is frightened to be in her own home and can't take it anymore. So she has decided to call over a specialist to come and bless the house and surrounding area. So hopefully things get better. But who knows as sometimes this can make the activity return even stronger. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Tragic Discovery The first video comes from the TikTok page The Dark Truth, where the owner of the account, a man named Aaron, suddenly became a victim to a terrifying haunting. Every day he would experience creepy paranormal events. He would sometimes wake up to loud bangs around the house, see objects move on their own, and just overall have the feeling that something is lurking in the darkness watching him. And without a clue as to what caused all of this, he had no idea what he should do about it. One night he heard strange noises around the house, thinking an intruder may be inside, he decides to record. This is what he captured. Thought someone was in my house.
What looks like a pair of two glowing eyes can be seen lurking outside the door behind the corner, just a mere second before the door slams shut by itself. After taking some advice and suggestions from his viewers, he decided to sage the house, but it turns out this action only served to make things worse, causing the activity in his house to intensify. On another night he is woken up to the sound of a cat meowing at his door and doesn't think much of it, but the very next night it happens again. This time he decides to go and check it out and he captures something utterly terrifying. As he pans the camera downstairs, a black shadow figure can be seen making its presence known in the corner of the room, and when he gets to the front door, there is no sign of any cat, but instead he sees three black hooded figures sitting out in the grass in the middle of the night. After a few days of more activity, Aaron makes a tragic discovery. He notices a foul stench beginning to cover his house and it seemed to be emanating from the apartment below his. So he decided to check his neighbor's window, and it was full of flies. In order to get to the bottom of this, he calls 911, assuming the worst may have happened. And that's when they make a disturbing discovery. Well, my neighbor just came outside in a while, and I looked at his window and there's a bunch of flies, and my apartment started smelling, I'm like right above him. Started smelling weird, and I walked up there and looked at his window, and there's a bunch of flies, and it kind of smells like, like a, like dead or like rotten. Turns out the neighbor had passed away many weeks ago, which seems to have been the cause for the foul smell. Strangely enough, nobody seemed to show up for the man who passed away. The police tried contacting every emergency contact, and they all had no response. So either this was a man who had no close family or friends left to come and visit, or he was involved in something more evil which kept everyone away from him. The other neighbors told Aaron he was an angry man who would cuss the kids and other people who walked by, and in the middle of the night, his front door would be left wide open, but only darkness can be seen inside, and as you get nearer to the door, you could hear him cursing at someone, but he never had any guests. Aaron suspects that the man may have been into satanic rituals and witchcraft, and his passing somehow triggered an evil presence to invade Aaron's home, as if he was a sacrifice for an evil entity. The very next night he woke up terrified, to the sound of something creeping up the stairs.
It doesn't stop there. The very next night, while playing games, he hears some noises, so he sets up his camera while playing to see if he captures them. But instead, he captures something even more chilling. Here we go again. The fucking lights. Something falls on him from upstairs, and as he goes to check it out, there is nobody there. Instead, he sees more objects fly across the room on their own, so he quickly runs back downstairs. And then he hears what sounds like someone downstairs inside the deceased neighbor's house, so he tries to take a quick look. I swear I could hear somebody down there. I can't see in there. Unfortunately, he can't make out anything by looking through the window. Shortly afterwards, he decides to listen to his viewers and attempt a spirit cleanse using sage. Okay, so I know everybody wants... Uh updating the story about what happened so the bottom stairs neighbor passed away and it's been pretty weird and paranormal lately in the comments i got a lot of people saying to get sage i got two different kinds i don't know which one to use all the same this one has like a twine around it or something hopefully the place will be cleansed for me to use sage it's a blessed house. At first, I'm gonna use what y'all said and put the egg in the middle of the room. <clears throat> the egg in the middle. Okay. Oh, it keeps going out. Okay, it's good. Okay. If anything is here, you are not welcome. Is it going out? Oh, that's good. You're not welcome here. You have to leave. You're not welcome. I really didn't want to light. You're not welcome here. You have to leave. There we go. Don't show no fears. You're not welcome here. You're not welcome. In the corners. Thing is moving. Now welcome here. You have to leave, find your way out. Okay, I think that's enough. I think we're just getting the spirit mat. Okay, well we're gonna check the egg. Hopefully I have a bad spirit in here. Fucking something. I'm gonna crack it into this bowl. See what happens. And aside from one or two odd noises, nothing really happens. But when he cracks the egg, a dark black liquid comes out 
which doesn't look like a good sign. Aaron says that it smelled like vomit. So it looks like this sage attempt didn't work. So he tries once again with dragon blood sage. It doesn't end very well. Are you doing the red dragon blood sage? To help me get rid of the spirit I have here. But first, I'm going to be placing this egg here in the center of the room. I'll place it right there. Come back. Okay. Here we go. So if there's a demon in here, you are not welcome. You have to leave. You're not welcome. It's much. It's barely lit. You know, people don't think that you're real. People actually think that you don't exist, but I want to show them. So show yourself. Don't be, don't be scared. Just show yourself, come out. Okay. Something's definitely showing itself. But it's okay, because I got the sage on this. It's barely lit, but it's okay. It's still lit. I'm okay. I'm kind of scared to go around this corner. Oh, shit. See, see, see. Here we go. If you're here, you have to leave. Or do something to this egg. Do something to this egg. Move it. Fuck. Okay. Maybe it left out the window or something. Let's go do the egg so I can leave my apartment. <laughs> okay, here's the egg. Nothing wrong with the egg, see? It's regular egg. First off, let me show you my hand. There's nothing on my hand, I think. I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, here you go. And again, again, I don't know why. As he approaches upstairs, the footsteps sound more aggressive, causing him to retreat back down. And once again, he cracks the egg. And this time, it looks even darker than the previous one, as if the evil energy is getting stronger. Aaron has no idea what this entity wants, nor why it is bothering him but it seems like he genuinely has something malevolent haunting the place. But let me know what you think. Also, this started quite recently, so things are likely to get even worse. You can check it out over on his TikTok page, The Dark Truth, and let him know you came from the depths. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over to depthsofdespairbusiness at gmail.com. The Clown Doll I featured the Clown Doll on the channel once before, to which a man inherited a creepy old house from his grandmother, which had some strange dolls inside, one of which in particular was a Clown Doll named Jeffrey, which was left facing Jacob's bed but some creepy activity occurred and he had reason to believe the Clown Doll was the cause, so he decided to move it to another room. I know you guys have been wondering what's going on with the creepy puppet, Uncle Jeffrey, and I just wanted to let you guys know 
what we've done. So after the last video, I just wasn't comfortable with him in the same room as me. So I've placed him somewhere else. As you can see, move him to this room. It's pretty empty. I just, I just want him in a separate room from me. And I don't want to feel like someone's watching me, you know? Anyways, that's what's going on with Jeffrey. I'll, guys, I'll keep you guys updated. Moving the doll seemed to work for a few nights. But then one night, Jacob is woken up to some loud bangs in the house. Around midnight, he thinks the sounds are coming from the room with the clown doll. So he gets up to take a look. What he saw left him in the depths of despair. I just heard banging. As Jacob opens the door to where the bangs are coming from, we see the clown doll Jeffrey facing the front of the room. That is until a loud sound is heard coming from downstairs, and what sounds like footsteps can be heard going up the staircase. But when Jacob checks, there's clearly nobody there, and after turning his back for just mere seconds, the doll can now be seen turned to the side, facing him. After such a scare, Jacob decides to move the doll into the basement this time to avoid any possible disturbances. Alright guys, this is the result so far. I'm gonna leave him here for now. But I think I'm gonna put a camera here. Jeffrey's still here, so... We're gonna see if there's anything I miss. And this time, he isn't taking any chances, so he sets up a camera to monitor Jeffrey in the basement. And not long after, he would receive a motion detection alert to his phone, instantly giving him the chills. But after watching the footage, he was even more terrified. Watch closely. As the camera pans around, the clown doll's arm moves by itself, and a few seconds after, the light bulb blows out, completely shrouding the basement in darkness, and then a creepy voice can be heard mumbling something, 
After these events, the doll has remained locked in the basement, and I don't think it will be coming out anytime soon. The Closet The next video was suggested by Marie Bunny and comes from the TikTok page Gator Dreams. Gator Dreams is a Twitch streamer who makes videos all to do with music and gameplay, so you wouldn't expect anything creepy to be posted on the page. Yet one day while streaming, some random banging noises could be heard in the house. Not worried about it, Gator just dismissed the sound saying it was his AC unit that needed to be fixed. However, even after fixing it the sounds didn't stop. It soon became evident that the banging was mostly coming from the closet inside his room. So one night he decided to leave his camera streaming around 3am while he left the room to see if he captures anything. After some time, the camera captures this. The closet door opens by itself and a strange repetitive banging sound can be heard coming from the same area. In another video he is doing a plank challenge on one of his streams and something unexpected happens. A single book can be seen slowly sliding off the bookshelf, but at the time he doesn't think much of it and just continues the stream as if it fell naturally. A few nights later he wakes up to more creepy unexplained banging sounds. Okay, this goddamn sound is still going. Let me check it out. Maybe I can catch it on video or something. Where are you, damn raccoons? We can hear what sounds like someone banging and messing around with the door, but when he opens it, he finds nothing out of the ordinary. Creeped out by the sounds, he ends up staying awake and not getting much sleep for the night. Is this a real ghost caught on camera, or just a simple ruse? You judge. Shadows Inside The next video comes from the TikTok page BK Tops, although the original source is unknown. In the footage the person recording says that they bought a little troll doll, 
which was supposedly meant to ward off all negative energies. However, for days they have been seeing black shadows moving around the house, and it is unclear if the troll is the cause of it, or if it was purchased beforehand to help with the situation. Well, one day, while home alone, the person sees a shadow moving inside one of their rooms, so they start recording. Take a look. Bueno, empecé a grabar porque hace unos días yo sentí que había algo. Realmente yo estoy solo ahorita, pero hace rato vi en ese cuarto como que una sombra. No sé. Bien, bien, bien. Ahí se ve algo. Ay Dios, yo realmente estoy solo. Bien. Está completamente solo. Solo estoy yo. No se puede meter nadie en debe. Aquí por la puerta. No, realmente estoy solo. Ni debajo de la cama, de hecho el espacio es muy... Bien. Ahí se alcanzó a ver algo. Si pueden ver, yo estoy solo. No hay nada, no hay nadie. En casa. No hay nadie. De hecho, hace días... Yo compré este troll porque se supone que aleja toda energía negativa. Pero ya lleva varias noches pasando esto. A shadow figure appears in one of the rooms, but upon checking there is nothing there. And shortly after, another figure can be seen outside the room. But once again, nobody there. And to me, it looks like this troll will do more harm than good to keep in the house. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. The Club The next video comes from the TikTok page The Bonehead. Once again I'm not sure of the original source and no context is provided. But in the footage some girls can be seen in an empty club. When some aggressive banging can be heard, they decide to check it out and are left completely terrified. Chloe, you're going to have to go and have a look. Honestly. Please. Don't fucking go. I'm not. I'm, I, well, I am. I'm here. No, we're the only ones here. Hello? Hello? Oh! No! Oh my... Chloe, wait, go. Go, go in. Go in, Chloe. Go in. So there's actually no one in here. No, no wait. I'll have a look at the bar now. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god! A wet floor sign comes flying out from behind the bar, and then a bottle slides off the table on its own, scaring the girls away. If anybody knows the original source, feel free to share it in the comments below. And as always, the final judgement is yours to make. Ouija board. The next video comes from the TikTok user Harry McClary. One day Harry decided to mess around with a Ouija board, thinking nothing bad would come of it. But a few nights later, he woke up to this. What the fuck? A deliberate attempt to contact the spirit of a deceased person is known as a seance. But I have a skill you might like. What the fuck? Wanna try it? <gasps> On another night, Harry and his partner woke up to the sounds of their dog Henry barking in a rather strange manner right at the basement door. When Harry goes to check, it doesn't end well. Hello? Oh my god! 
something comes charging out of the basement scaring him away. On another night he hears a door repeatedly opening and closing coming from within the basement. This time he decides to go down there and see for himself what's going on. The door stops and just as he gets within reach it completely opens all the way, revealing a pitch black room with no light, as if something was trying to lure him inside. Luckily he quickly ran away. Four days later while reading a book, Harry would capture something terrifying on camera. The light shatters and just mere seconds afterwards, a dark shadow figure can be seen lurking within one of the dark rooms. Eventually they saged the house and it seemed like that was the end of it, but one night it returned. So just what exactly did they welcome into their house after playing with the Ouija board? Is it a real ghost? Or just a simple ruse? Once again, I'll let you judge. Attached to my son. The next video comes from the YouTube channel King Crimson. King Crimson and his family started hearing strange banging noises and whispering voices around the house one day but they were unsure what was causing it and why. However, they recently discovered that their son found their old Ouija board that had been missing in the house for years. Not knowing what he was doing, the boy retrieved the Ouija board from the cluttered storage and started messing with it. It was around this time that the activity started occurring in the house. After reviewing the security cameras set up in the house, this is what they captured.
The TV turns on by itself and then the Ouija board drops on the floor on its own and as he starts playing with it, what sounds like a creepy whisper can be heard saying not your toy. He then makes a follow up video to show that there is no space for someone to hide behind the TV. But that's just the beginning of things because over the course of the next few days, the boy can be seen playing with his toys when something disturbing is captured on camera. The next day the boy would bring the Ouija board to his room and play with it right by the mirror and what the camera captures would leave any parent worried.
something creepy happens in the mirror and once again towards the end of the video we can see the planchette move by itself and then a mist like figure manifests momentarily before vanishing real or not I don't think it's very responsible to allow a child to be playing around with a Ouija board but let me know what you think The Haunted Doll the next video comes from the TikTok user Samantha Marie, who runs a store in Albuquerque, New Mexico. One day, Samantha received a doll from a client which they claimed was haunted. Samantha, on the other hand, is a collector of haunted items, as she usually doesn't believe that they are. Well, after packing the doll named Alice away in its case and leaving it inside the store, a few days later when she arrived at the store and decided to make a before and after video showcasing how the store has changed, she was left shocked. Okay, so I haven't done a walkthrough video like a before and after since I moved in. So since I just got here, After entering the store, some creepy laughter can be heard, and the doll seems to be sitting on the couch and out of its casing. This left Samantha understandably creeped out, causing her to leave the store as quickly as she came in. She then made a follow-up video explaining a bit about the doll. I'm still really bugged out by walking in my store and hearing i don't know if it was laughter i was very confused but backstory is i received alice from a family their mom has had her for a really long time and they reached out to me and asked me if i would take her because they were all terrified of her and you know i was like okay well tell me about the doll so they told me that the doll just creeped them out and sometimes they would hear noises or they would hear what they thought was laughter they never really knew what it was but they all felt like it was coming from Alice. The mom is going to a home, so they're really getting rid of a lot of things that the mom doesn't need anymore. So they reached out to me and they asked me, hey, do you want to take Alice on? I said, send her. Because a lot of people know that I take haunted items or claimed haunted items because I'm very logical about this type of stuff. So this morning when I got there, I had every intention on starting a video, doing a before and after because I'm blocked, I can't go live. So I really wanted to do like a before and after, like walking in the store and then putting clips of like how it looked when I moved in versus how it looked now. I was not anticipating that. Samantha also said that ever since taking in the doll, she noticed her plants started dying mysteriously, but she doesn't know much about the doll's history so she's not able to say for sure what is going on. Thanks again to Aura for sponsoring this video. Stop letting people exploit you by profiting off your personal information. Go to aura.com slash despair and start your two week free trial now. That's all for today guys, but if you like this video, subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you never miss an upload. And with that being said, you can follow the original Depths of Despair on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. See you next time, guys.